I am Alfie Brecken at Roker College and I'm doing the BP scholarship with Renewable Energy. It's just something I've really enjoyed, especially with it being hands-on. It's very practical and it's just enjoyable, like, it's really good. Well, with it being green energy, there's a lot of opportunities at the moment. We had someone recently from BP come in called Dan and he's along with the new project for the clean energy in Teesside. With Dan coming in, he said that there'd be more around the Teesside area and he showed us a few places where they're doing the new project and they want to do more with clean energy and the hydrogen as it's a lot cleaner for the environment. What we're doing here is we're cutting a piece of uh, piping here and with this, there's like a vice, it's like a bandsaw, so you can bring it up and down. We bring it down just before, so we can measure the length. We measure it to 145. With the vice, we tighten it. While it's tightened, it's in a secure place, it won't come back at us. So the controls are here, green to go, red stop, emergency stop. We've got a lubricant running through, so you make a cleaner cut. He's changing the speed of how it goes down, so we don't actually break the saw. I just thought it was like a really exciting opportunity because obviously they're building a site at Teesside so hopefully we can get on the site and get working with F1 at BP. After this course, I'm hoping to be taken on by BP you know, for the apprenticeship or even a job. This two year training is building us up for that and hopefully it goes on in the future. The things that are happening in Teesside at the moment I think is really exciting. Companies like BP and CO Wind are coming into Teesside, they're recognising what we can do in Teesside. Teesside is a, a massive place, it always has been for industry. I think we can do this again. I've come to this college just this year and I wanted to be part of this. The future of these students going into new renewable energies I think is really exciting. It's Teesside's step forward, I'd say.